is a dream come true tonight for a team 1-1 baseball star. With the ninth selection of the 2019 MLB draft, the Atlanta Braves select Shea Langoliers, a catcher from Baylor University. Blessed Trinity C.J. Abrams went six overall in the Major League Baseball draft. The Padres took Abrams, who is probably the fastest player in the country. Congrats to him. Hey, by the way, the Braves chose the catcher out of Baylor with the ninth pick, Ron. Okay, so good baseball weather right now, I would think. Sam is in for Chris tonight, so what do you think? Sam? Oh, well, yeah. I mean, we're going to see some terrific weather as we head into the next 36 hours. But come Wednesday, the beginning of a few days, several days, we could be seeing rain each and every day. We need the rain, so that's a good thing. But outside tonight, things are looking fantastic. The winds have died down. We'll see those winds picking up tomorrow up to around 20 miles per hour out of the northeast during the afternoon. So we'll start to see some changes. Hey, this morning down to 68 degrees. We had a uh, morning low on the coolish side, although it was still a little bit above average. High today, 89, so five degrees above average. So not the extreme heat we saw last week. We didn't have any mid 90s anywhere today. And you know, we're getting depleted as far as our surplus rainfall down to 15 hundredths of an inch. So we will be getting more rain to fill up our reservoirs, to fill up the river basin as we head into the end of the week and the weekend. So dry for now, increasing clouds Tuesday and rain chances ramping up midweek. So this is what we're seeing now. Actually, a little weak front moved through. We have a northerly flow that brought in drier winds today. There's that frontal boundary here, but we're going to take you into the western Gulf of Mexico where we're watching this disturbance. Still has about a 60% chance of developing the next two days. If it does, it'll be Barry. It'll be a tropical depression Barry. If it doesn't, it's still going to bring heavy rain to Mexico on up into Texas. And the reason we have to watch this is some of this moisture could get entrained into our flow and enhance some of our thunderstorm development as we head into the end of the week. So here it comes moving on up into Mexico, moving on up in through Texas, moving into Louisiana. And then as we head towards the end of the week, those rainfall rates could be increasing here as that tropical moisture gets pulled up. So we could see some pretty heavy showers and thunderstorms starting Wednesday, Thursday into Friday. Here comes the weekend at the 60% chance of showers and storms continuing as we head into our Saturday and Sunday. So really nice weather on Tuesday for baseball or for anything else you may be up to. And then Wednesday, those rain chances go up to 40%. They stay there Thursday, 60% chance Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So you want to keep that umbrella with you as you head towards the end of the week and the weekend. All right, thanks a lot, Sam. Time for your wild moments of the day. Up first, getting wild at the local barbers. Check this out. This is surveillance video. Shows the moment a deer burst through the window of this Kentucky shop. Bad Bambi knocks into a barber, then runs into the back of the shop. A few customers, they were out of their head for the hills, but a couple of guys, they were like, nah, we're straight, not bother. <laughs> Hanging out until the deer bolts out of the front door. Wow, moment number one, you can see it coming, but you just can't do anything to just stop this slow-mo cringe moment. A 66,000 ton cruise ship runs into a tourist boat and pier along one of the busiest canals in Venice. Now this all took place yesterday. Tugboats try to stop this uh, out of control cruise ship. However, the captain even dropped some anchors there, but as you can see, that didn't work. Four people were injured, including an American. 32 times.